Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to the second part of this uh, FreeCodeCam Tic-Tac-Toe uh, challenge. In the, in the previous section we did the HTML portion. In this section we are going to do the styling of the CSS. So I'm going to open the CSS tab. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to target the body section. Um, I'm going to give it a background color of, uh, by the way, if you uh, come across a situation in which you need to uh, give a color but you don't uh, know the hexadecimal uh, number for that specific color, the, the range of color is so big um, that it's impossible for you to know every single combination of color. So there is a way that you can uh, get a color picker right here in the browser and that is by right clicking on the browser and uh, clicking on inspect and that will open the developers tool in, in Chrome. Um, Firefox has also a developer's tool and uh, if you head over to the body section you're going to most likely find a background and uh, if you click on the color it will open this color picker and uh, from here you can either um, click on the color picker and go someplace else and choose a color or you can start playing around with different ranges of colors so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to copy the hex from here and I'm going to paste it over here and see how the color looks and um, I think it's a little bit too dark so I'm going to I want to spend too much time doing this Let's see how this color looks ah, a little bit better. So I'm going to uh, give it a, um, a font of Verdana. And as backup, I'm going to use Sunset. I'm going to set the color, uh, the text color to white and I'm going to next target the container section which is this class over here so I'm going to say that container and I'm going to uh, align everything to the middle so I'm going to say margin zero auto and uh, for some reason this okay I missed a semicolon and I'm going to text align center and uh, for some reason it's not working okay I see what the problem is I misspelled container there we go so next I'm going from the top down Next, I'm going to uh, target the um, header section. So I'm going to let me see. Did I clear? Did I create a class for the header? Yes, I did. I'm going to say header margin top, and I'm going to give it a margin of 30 pixels. That's just a little bit more. Let's do 50 pixels. That's fine right there. Next, I'm going to do the next section, which is the control section. So I'm going to say controls. Is it control or controls? I don't remember. Let's see. Controls. And I'm going to also give it a margin top of 20 pixels okay so next I'm going to space out a little bit uh, the checkbook the checkboxes so I'm going to I did create a class for the checkbox so I'm, it's right here so I'm going to say checkbox margin right uh, 
for the pixels. No. Let me try margin left for the pixels. Okay, that's better. Notice that uh, it's only the checkbox to the right, the one that you know I'm pushing to the right. And um, if you want to have more control over the checkboxes, you might want to consider putting every single input box within within a form. Um, I have both of them uh, within a single form. Uh, I think if you put them uh, each one in, in, inside their own uh, form, you have more. You can have more control of them. So it's something uh, you can consider um, in the next step. Let's um, push a little bit down the board. So that is the next class. I also give it by mistake. I should I should uh, gave it a container to do different classes. I gave a container to. Uh, to this uh, div right here and also to this div so that's wrong so I, I can change this class to something like board container or container board I want to leave it as board container Going to push that container a little bit down by 40 pixels. Okay, so after looking around for a while, you know, it took me a little bit. Um, I realized that I misspelled uh, the class uh, within the uh, tic tac toe. Uh, within the uh, board container, I misspelled the I misspelled class, so it should have been with two S. And I want to give it a board container class. And I misspelled it again. I'm missing the D. This time should work. There we go. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Uh, next step is to install the board. Uh, so we want we want three uh, squares in a row. It's a three by three. So we have a total of nine squares. So I'm going to say um, row diff since I'm targeting the row class that contains uh, three divs so I want to put those divs in a row so I'm going to say display inline block okay so I'm going to give it a, a font size of 100 pixels I want to make it big enough okay here we go and uh, since I want to, uh, since I want to see what I'm doing in, in, in the edges, in the edges of the board, I'm going to say uh, border uh, solid one pixel wide. And uh, next, I'm going to give it a width of 100 pixel and a height of also 100 pixels and that looks a little bit better let me close this uh, developer tools inside of native right now so next I'm going to do text align top actually center and I'm going to do a vertical align top and line height of 100 pixels and I'm going to make the font size 90 and 
I continue to mistype words all of them. Here we go. So now it looks a lot better. Uh, notice that the only thing that we're missing here is that we have some uh, a little bit of margin between uh, the columns, between column one, two, and three. We have a margin in between, and the reason being is that there is a line break uh, on indent uh, indentation rather uh, between every single row and uh, between every single div within a row. And so you can take uh, two different approach to this. You can either uh, put a comment in between the two divs, like so. And notice how uh, the first and second square, uh, there is now no, uh, no margin in between the two squares. So that's the first um, approach that you can take. The, the caveat with this approach is that you're going to have to do this between uh, the first and second div of every single row. And that there is actually a CSS rule that you can use to get around this. And that is by targeting the row class. So I'm going to go back into the row class. I think I have a row class. If not, I'm going to create it. I'm going to say row font size zero pixels. And uh, that, that should do it. And that's it for the styling. Um, I hope I didn't take too long and uh, didn't, I didn't make uh, too many uh, you know, typos. Uh, the, again, if you have any, if you come across a rule that you don't remember, uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, going and uh, reading the, the, the documentation. Um, uh, so that's it for this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.